Coach Holt, uh, let's talk about uh, this past uh, week's game. It sounded like it was an interesting, competitive game between you and Robin. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, I thought our kids played hard. You know, we just uh, at certain times we didn't make the plays we needed to make. You know, on offense or defense. But you know, our kids played hard. You, you give up touchdown on the first drive. Our offense goes right down, scores again, answers. You know, went for two because I knew. You know, Coach Walsh was going to go for two every time he scored. And so our kids done a good job of answering their first drive and then kind of locked in both sides, and it was kind of back and forth from there on out. And then uh, got into the fourth quarter and got into crunch time, and they went up, and uh, we had a drive going, and then we got a penalty. Kind of hurt us a little bit, kind of shot us in the foot. But uh, kids played hard. You know, it was a good, good game to just be involved in, you know, good, hard nose physical football game and just proud of our kids effort not proud of the outcome but uh that's why we always get to come back to work on monday you got another tough one this week andrews but before not not specifically about andrews but you're getting ready to see what we kind of consider the toughest teams in the conference do you think you'll have a good flavor out how this conference is rolling out i think you've got one friday yeah I, I told somebody last week you know i think if you're in the smc this year and you don't show up to play you're liable to get beat no matter who you're playing. So, you know, it's a good uh, tradition-rich football conference. And, uh, you know, I, I think everybody this year, top to bottom, if they play well and uh, you don't, you have a – you know, you got that opportunity to go home with a loss. And so, for us, it's just continuing to work on us, continue to get better, um, you know, but there's really no weeks off. You know, there's no uh, pushover games. You know, Andrews are undefeated this – you know, coming in this week. And uh, – be hard for our kids, you know, good challenge for us. How well can we prepare and um, get ready for what they do offensively and defensively? So uh, just glad we get to play football, you know, and uh, a lot of those teams, you know, in Florida and stuff, they're uh, the hurricane, you know, we, at least we're blessed enough to where we get another opportunity to go out and play football this week. So thankful for that. Neglecting the um, Lillards and the Collins and the Winchesters uh, of the Swain County world. Who else is out there would you highlight or you think is doing well or maybe ready to have a breakout game or in your club? Well, I, I think uh, Josiah Gillespie offensively for us, you know, he, he scored a touchdown last week and he's just one of those guys that is very athletic. He's got good speed and when we get him in space, you know, he can make things happen and I think he's getting better every week and uh, just excited to see him, you know, play every Friday because he's kind of special for us and exciting to watch. And then uh, defensively, you know, uh, Nathan Bogdanowicz, he's a, one of our defensive ends. Right. You know, he's, he's kind of silently having a really, really good year for us on both sides of the football, playing tight end, D end. And, um, you know, he – I'm, I'm looking for him to, you know, kind of continue to grow and step up not only on the field but as a leader. You know, he's starting to – you know, hold guys accountable and, you know, be a leader in the locker room for us. So those two guys come to mind because, you know, they're getting better every week. So now let's shift. Andrews Wildcats. Obviously, there's the Donovan Batemans, the uh, Isaac Weavers, uh, the Martins, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, really, what do you think about uh, stopping them and trying to put points on the board for you guys? They're undefeated, and some people saying they're the best in the conference. Yeah, well, you know, I, you know, watching them on film, you look at them and you, you just say, okay, what can we limit? You know, anytime we go into a game, our game plan, you know, you can't stop everything, but what are the things that we have to stop to be successful or give us a chance to win? And so just limiting their run, running game is going to be important for us because they like to run the football. And then de defensively, I've just noticed there's, there's not been a whole lot of teams get big plays on them. So, you know, can we, can we get two or three big plays – you know, here and there uh, to kind of get them in a place where they've not been all season. Mm -hmm. You know, try to make them uncomfortable on both offense and defense. And then, you know, special teams, in my opinion, is going to be big. You know, can we get a break there, maybe get a score or steal a possession some way, somehow or something, you know, get a turnover. And so for us, it's just we got to execute offensively. You know, we got to be able to score mm -hmm. some points. And uh, defense, defensively, you know, we're going to have to – bring our lunch pail because it's going to be tough so you got some business you got to take care of here in a few seconds but uh coach real quickly we'll let you go but uh 
got a big one this week and go Maroon Devils. Go Maroon Devils.